And if you can read or you recognize hot guys in the audience, he is here, ladies and gentlemen. Up next, Ari Gold. Where the music takes you. Like this man needs any introduction, come on down. Where the music takes you, I mean, your music I know is a passion of yours. He does everything though. He's a model, you've seen him on the cover of all the New York magazines and beyond. The film Star Booty hosted the Out Music Awards. He just came back from Seattle hosting an event for Planet Out. But where did your music take you with all the options you had to perform around the world? Where did your music take you and what was one of the most inspiring things you saw on tour? Ari Gold. <laughs> uh, I guess the music took me right here to this very moment with you. <laughs> and I keep looping his videos because I love that he keeps coming back to us. But one of the things that I want to see if you're aware of, a lot of people mentioned to me about your videos, and most importantly, Wave of You right behind you. One of my friends had mentioned to me that she goes, oh, I got the brand new Ari Gold album the day it came out. And I was like, oh, what is it you like about Ari Gold? And she goes, he puts transgendered models in his videos perfectly, and I'm gonna buy every one of his albums. Are you aware that some of the decisions that you've made have just affected people's purchasing choices just because you did it right? Your questions are hilarious, by the way. No, for real, because I was just like, you know I love you and I always try to get you involved in anything I do, but here's to someone who I know doesn't know you, doesn't live in New York, might have seen you on TV, but she had this great dissertation for me. She goes, of course, I bought it the day it came out. Ari supports me, and she used the words, he did it right, and that's why I want to buy his album the day it came out. But you also show, you know, you show interracial couples, you show faith, and this is my favorite quote of yours. Can I use it or can you say it for me? Okay. He doesn't want his videos to be homoerotic. He wants them to be homosexual. But with your videos, do you have a lot of decisions? Yeah, round of applause for that. With your videos, do you have a lot of say in the imagery or are you just the model that pops up? Uh, no, I pretty much have a say in every little tiny thing that goes out there. Uh, I mean, it's one of the advantages of being an independent artist. Uh, you really get to, uh, I get to sort of be in control of everything. And sometimes I even may micromanage a little bit, but. Um, and you know, as far as the transgender thing, I definitely made a conscious effort. I mean, on my new album, uh, the intro of the album says, for all my uh, gay brothers and sisters, all my straight girls, my metros and my TG warriors, transgendered warriors. So, um, it's, you know, I think it's important to show our solidarity as a community and not to make anyone else feel like uh, we have been made to feel as gay people sometimes, so. And now you perform all around the world. You just did Night of a Thousand Gowns, which is a great event. When you're performing out live for charity events, I want to mention one thing. In his video, which is going to be playing behind us next, For Love Will Take Over, you're performing at a charity event for Hurricane Katrina, and so many different fundraisers made it into your video, but it wasn't obvious that you were just there helping our community. Well, Night of a Thousand Gallons was a total blast. Uh, it was, we had a huge runway, and it was really fun. And I mean, it makes a lot of sense that I would do um, benefits, especially uh, for organizations that, um, that support the LGBT community. Um, and I mean, I've done the expo for, for uh, many, many years. So, I mean, it's sort of a perfect fit because there is a message to my music. And so uh, I definitely try to give back and support uh, as much as I possibly can. Now we're at the Long Island and Fire Island and Rhode Island Film Festival booth. We played your video, Wave of You, which is playing right behind us. Is this the Fire Island Pines Atlantic Ocean Seashore? It most certainly is. <laughs> That's actually where Herb Ritz, the video is a tribute to uh, the late videographer and photographer Herb Ritz, and it, it, uh, it was where he shot uh, most of his stuff as well. So, um, And uh, yeah, we were on Fire Island and I think we were filming and there were some people that got jealous and they started doing their own video and it was kind of funny. <laughs> now how did your recording career change with the power of video because very often I'll turn on the TV in the middle of the evening and or in the afternoon it's like there's Ari Gold, there's Ari Gold. Your videos charted all went to number one but how did that affect your career because you were on television before as a child actor you've done jingles but now here you are doing your own stuff, your own lines. How did that change your recording career? Well, television is a really big deal. Um, you have the ability to reach uh, a lot of people very quickly. So, um, Logo was great. I mean, this video premiered with the uh, launch of the network. Um, and so that was a great spot for me and it was just a, a great opportunity. 
Great opportunity. We got to see him performing here live at the expo, but I know you're gonna go out with Liz Clark and you're gonna do like a, a summer tour together. Tell us what's planned. We just saw Liz earlier in the RJO Entertainment Block. What's planned with you and Liz? And we're gonna wrap here, Ari Gold. We're doing uh, some expos in uh, Seattle and in Dallas, um, and I have a benefit coming up uh, April 16th right here in New York City. Uh, 8 o'clock at a club called Touch. It's all on my website, arigold.com. I hope you all can be there. It's for a great organization, speaking about charity, uh, called Soul Force. So uh, please come to the show. It's going to be a great concert. Now, I have one more, because I always love to talk to this man. There was a little bit of a gap between Wave of You and the remix video for Love Will Take Over. Where the music takes, she's been out now a few months. What's the next video, and is it going to come out this year? Is it going to be a remix? Tell us the video future for Ari Gold. Well, I just uh, put out, it should be on iTunes any day now, um, uh, a bunch of new remixes for Where the Music Takes You. So we're about to promote that, and um, we're going to start the next video soon, but I can't really tell you what it is yet. So. Do you know? Yes, I know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ari Gold!